So my name is Scott Barnett. I'm the founder and CEO of Career Numbers. I really want to walk you guys through a couple things today. The first is just a big picture of our vision, what we're about, where we're going. And the second is I want to show you a little bit about where we are, be a product demo, and all of that. So at Career Numbers, we're really passionate about empowering people, helping them make the most of their work lives. And we believe the best way to do this is actually to empower them with information when we look out into the marketplace, the one thing we have found is an effective place to go get data on your career. And so at Career Numbers, we're giving people the ability to come to our site, personalize our set of tools, and get insights into you know, what is it that top performers in their field are doing to get ahead? How are they spending time? Right? What are their personality types? You look at entrepreneurs, CEOs of venture-funded businesses. What does that look like for angel-funded you know, CEOs, Series A-funded, B-funded, C-funded? What skills do they have? What are the gaps from where I'm at to where I want to go? Um, another problem we're trying to address, compensation. There's a bunch of tools out there that crowdsource has done a great job. They, they look at from a moment in time point of view of, if I have this title with this company, how much do I make? But I look at it, I went to college for four years. to increase my market value, and I paid money for that. But when I came out of college, I went into consulting, and I actually increased my market value more than they paid me. So why is it that we take the point of view that our compensation you know, should be based on our title and not based on how much we're growing? So we want to take more of a holistic approach to it. Look at comp, not just salary, but you know, total comp, how much you're growing, map that back to your career. And so at its core, this is really what Career Numbers is about, is collecting this data, and as we amass information from people about their you know, personality, their compensation, their goal, their skills, their interests, their passions, we're able to put it all together provide transparency into what does it take to really get ahead? How can you be the best version of yourself? And so that's really where we're headed. Um, as for the actual demo itself, so uh, this is still really rough around the edges. <laughs> um, one of the core aspects of our business, uh, as we collect this data, we want to give it back uh, in aggregate form entirely for free to the end user. All their data is actually private and personal, um, so keep that private. Um, as part of this, uh, we can monetize it then with recruiting. Um, the big challenge from a business model point of view is it's a chicken and egg problem, how do you actually get the data? Uh, there's a lot of great third-party data sources out there, none of them really connect. So we decided to go build our own and we're going to go do it profession by profession. Uh, one of the first professions we started with is financial advisors. He was right, the internet sucks. <laughs> internet connection is pretty slow. Uh, so we've, we've tried to get away from the traditional survey and make information a little bit more interactive, uh, zooming in and whatnot. Uh, so financial advisors from a financial advisor. Uh, these are sales guys. So revenue generated is really how much money did you sell this last year? Um, yeah. And so within the product itself, we've created uh, sort of as an information feed. Um, our real intent is, as we have different insights related to you and your career, we can highlight and bring them to the top. The things that are as interesting, if you want to sort of, you know, scroll all the way down to them, you can find them, but we can really put those bullets that jump at the top. Um, we're also starting to package our information into different surveys and quizzes, if you will. Uh, for now, we just have it as at the individual question level. Um, to give you a feel for it, um, some of the poll type questions, right? How satisfied are you with your compensation? Um, maybe I feel grossly underpaid. Yeah. Uh, um, so I'm actually on the old version of our product. I can't show you some of the newer stuff that I was hoping to. Um, So 
So I'll let you turn it over for questions for a few minutes. And we'll jump back into the web at the end. So this seems to be a crowdsourcing. Yes. Right. So how do you, you know, it's a chicken and egg problem. If I'm the first customer, how do you decide? How do I get the value out of the uh, yeah. Great question. Uh, so the question is, you know, this is a crowdsourcing site, network product, chicken and egg problem, how do you overcome that? So the core of it is we're really uh, focusing on it profession by profession. Um, and so right now we're launching financial advisors. What we found is actually once we have about a thousand people participating, we become the best source in the world for that set of information, simply because no one's kind of collected this type of information or presented in this type of way. Um, so that's really what it is. Focus, just nail it. First thousand people or first you know, ten people love that, it's not particularly valuable, but they get access to the results a few days later. So that's really the core of it. Follow-up question, are you paying for product you know, to reach your customers? Yeah, we are right now. Um, and our revenue, revenue model actually enables us to do so. Uh, from a revenue point of view, we make more money per user than LinkedIn does. Um, and we anticipate that we're actually going to double down over the next year. Yes? So, sir, how do you pay for a page? Somebody that's free out and says it will always be free. Yeah, we, uh, we intend to give it away for free. Uh, the actual information itself, uh, we're really passionate about empowering people. Um, but then companies, right, they uh, hold large budgets ultimately uh, for recruiting. The recruiting market is over $100 billion. Uh, so right now people that are interested in seeking new job opportunities, we're able to introduce them to different employers, different recruiters. Um, and then some of our information itself has a tendency to trigger people's interest in other things. And that's not ultimately our goal of triggering interest, but when people find out that they're underpaid by 20, 30, 40%, they oftentimes express interest in talking to other firms. <coughs> yeah. Yeah. What, sorts of, what sorts of decisions do you expect to make? Yeah, good question. Is it that's not our goal at all. We really want to empower people, and I think it's the feel about yourself and what you want. And it's the, you know, how do I get ahead? How do I be better at what I do? How do I get the best version of myself? And so that's ultimately where we headed with it. I think there's an aspect where people are curious about compensation. So as we talk to people, everyone wants to know what are the implications of my compensation of all the different things I'm doing? Is going to school pay off? Uh, right now, there's no great data set for that. We talk about you know getting a you know a bachelor's degree or an X dollars more of your career, but it's such an average generic number. What about if you're going to go be an entrepreneur? Right, what if you're going to you know, go work for a big company? What if you're an accountant? Um, what if this is your personality type? What if, you know, whatever else? We like to talk about all these things as averages, but nobody in here is actually average. We're all different in some kind of weird way. Um, and so we're trying to personalize all that information for you and give you transparency and kind of implications of your decisions to the best you know, of our ability. Thank you very much. Join Boston New Technology Meetup, sponsor an event or a venue, present your idea, and attend to network with Boston's brightest. Details are at www.bostonnewtech.org and in the video description.